There's something there. All full up. Can't carry any more. This describes something nearby. Seven golden birds perched here and there. One escaped to the trees with his treasure. Dropped from his talons. I'm waiting for you. The gods favor us both. Here you go. Very good. The gods favor us both. Here you go. The gods favor us both. Here you go. Come back soon. Hey! <laughs> It won't be long. I can't believe how much Etsley has grown in
No one's been through here in years. have enough space for that. I should be able to reach the sarcophagus now. Shit, I'll have to keep climbing. Ugh! <sighs> 
All full up. Can't carry any more.
dead end. There might be an ex- mm, Impossible. I can't carry any more.
A dead end. There might be an exit in the courtroom. A depiction of a pook, god of death and ruler of Mitnell, the ninth and most horrible level of the Maya version of hell. One thing a pook enjoyed doing was dressing in putrefying flesh and visiting the surface to prey upon the living. According to legend, the only way to save yourself from him was to scream and yell like you were in unbearable agony. He'd assume you were already being tortured by one of his minions and leave you alone. How appropriate that his harbinger demon was a screech owl named Muon. Have you seen my husband or my daughter? I don't think so. Where did you last see them? They spend their nights with the stars, sparkling and waving at me. But in the morning, they travel to the river. Oh. I usually see them shining there, but the storm muddled the waters. I know they're down there. I know they are.
Continue to restrict the distribution of supplies. When we come through the area, it's better for everyone if your people are more concerned with their next meal or their child's fever, rather than with what's happening outside the village. As promised, once our investigation in the area is complete, we will provide monthly rations equal to double what you currently receive from care for 24 months, provided you keep up your end of the bargain. Cordially, Estela Diaz, Director of Community Outreach Programs, Order of Trinity. I love old maps. When I was a little girl, they always led to treasure. <laughs> they always make me feel more lost. My name's Lara, by the way. Pilar. You don't look like the type of tourists we usually get. I'm an archaeologist, actually. Uh, yes, that would be more fitting, I think. You should speak with Abigail. She knows the history of this place better than almost anyone. We've already met. Abby's been kind enough to let my friend and I stay with her while we're visiting. Ah. <laughs> well then, you are a welcomed guest in Kuakiaku. Thank you. Do you need help understanding the map? <laughs> it wasn't meant for me to understand. I have hidden the truth, as Abigail will find, but to uncover it, she must take a trip back in time. <laughs> Mariana was never much of a poet. <laughs> Mariana? Abigail's grandmother. We lost her to cancer one year ago today, actually. I'm sorry to hear that. Mariana wanted Abigail to have the map on the anniversary of her death, but... You're not sure? I don't know if she's ready. It's none of my business, but if it helps, Mariana believes she was. Ah. You're right. I guess it never was my decision, was it? Would you mind delivering the map to Abigail? You could make a full-time job of chasing that girl around. Oh, and my hips just won't have it. <laughs> Not at all. Abby, it's Lara. Hey, stranger. How are you making out? How's Jonah? Jonah's fine. He's with a friend. <laughs> a friend, huh? What's her name? <laughs> His name is Uchu. Listen, Abby, I'm back in Kwakiaku and I've come across an old map that belonged to your grandmother. Well, there's an old timer in town, Diego. He runs the community garden. He's in two maps, I think. Maybe he can take a look. Meet me there? On my way. Can I help you? I'm a friend of Abby's. She asked me to meet her here. We have a map we'd like you to look at. Oh, let's have a look. Mm, this is a nice piece of work. Good detail. Happy to see it held up all these years. You're familiar with it? Might be a little more dust in the attic these days, but I never forget my work. Abby's grandmother asked me to draw it up. If I remember right, it was supposed to be some kind of gift for Abby. There are blemishes here. Three of them, do you see? Hmm. I didn't put those there. It smells like lemon, doesn't it? Lemon? Lemon juice can be used as ink to... 
There could be a heat fix message hidden in the map. Can I use your brazier? Sure. Be my guest. So how does this work? Well, lemon juice is organic, so it will oxidize and turn brown when it's heated, and a secret message will appear. It's been a lot of years. You think it'll still show? As soon as Abby gets here, we're gonna find out. Find out what? Speak of the devil. <laughs> I'm an angel, Diego. You know that. <laughs> Not when you were little. <laughs> Abby, according to Diego, your grandmother asked him to make the map for you as a gift. Why would I need a map of the village? I know this place in my sleep. There's more. Your grandmother hid something here in the paper. You can barely see it. I think it's a secret message. She used invisible ink. Invisible ink? Really? Well, it's just lemon juice, but... But it does the trick. So, what's this secret? Don't know. May I? Let's take a look. Look, those symbols, they're... Three X's. X marks the spot. <laughs> Cute, Grandma. Are these points far from here? Nope. Should we split up? Sure. I'll take those two there. Thanks.
There's a three-stepped edge on one side that looks to have been carved by hand. Interesting. The other edge is roughly broken, like it's been shattered. This is only a piece of something larger.
Abby, how are you making out? Almost at it. <sighs> Whatever it is. You? Look for a fragment of stone with a three-stepped edge. I found one here. I'm sure we're looking for two others. You're the expert. Pull up. Can't carry any more. I don't have enough space for that. <sighs> this describes something nearby. I lie silent where arrows once flew, guarding a door which will no longer open.
are porous. The oil must be seeping through. They come.
right over there. to time this right. Pendulum to it. I could use that second pendulum to remove the blockage. both pendulums together. Something's holding it in place. I'll need more power.
tether both pendulums together. both pendulums together. moving. Time to get out of here. 